light looks good. My leaders. <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah, so check this out, man. Check this out. We get to this balcony. Man, I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning with something on my mind. Something hit me. Something hit me. Let me fix this, y'all. Let me fix my mic. Something hit me this morning. And it's something that happened the other day at the coffee shop. This thing happened yesterday at the coffee shop. And it went something like this, you know. I was ordering a house coffee. Now, I'm ordering this house coffee. It was delicious. I got, um, it's like caramel spice pumps. Ooh. So some of the best coffee I've had. I was looking for a 24-hour coffee shop, and I found it in Austin. And there's one called the Buzz Mill. Mm, kind of like the vibes, but then I found another one, which I really, I really, I really enjoy the vibes. I'm going to be doing a lot of meetings and edits at that shop. And when I was about to leave, something happened. And this happens far too often. And literally it's the fact that as I was speaking to this individual, he asked me what I'd do. And I told him. And he started to talk about what he does as well. But he kind of shortchanged himself in the sense that he cut himself off to speak about what somebody else is doing. You know what I mean? What somebody big, what somebody prominent is actually doing with their lives. Like people we already know, people well named, you know, individual. And he just got into that motion of just praising, praising and praising that. I just thought to myself, man, bring, bring the conversation back. <laughs> bring the conversation back to the question I asked. And it was about you. It wasn't about the other person. It was about you. And so many times what I see that we do day in and day out is like we, we belittle the things that we do. We belittle the things that our boys are doing, our friends are doing, our homies are doing. We belittle these things. We don't, we don't give them word of mouth. Like we don't give them, we don't, we don't appreciate the stuff that our friends are doing because the perception is they haven't made it yet. They're not at that level, right? And so because of this view of a level that we're expecting or hoping somebody should be at before we start talking about them, we never talk about them. Where it's kind of disappointing because Many of these artists that we find out about not necessarily just come from online, but they come from word of mouth. Somebody is talking about them. Somebody is praising them. Your boy could be doing the most phenomenal thing, and it's like you could be the person to introduce that person's business, you know, or creative idea to somebody else just through word of mouth. And it's like we get so lost and big up in people who are big. Like they, they, they doing their thing. We appreciate it. We get inspired by it. But at the same time, we can't forget that we're just as creative. You know, one of my boys, uh, Marcus, said the same thing about his brand, M-O-A-M, which is, stands for Man on a Mission. And he just said, I'm, I'm just as big as them. We were looking at the Google, you know, symbol in Austin at a shoot. And he was like, man, what if I had my logo on top of that same building? It just takes money. It just takes capital. You know, and he's like, right now, I'm just as big as that brand. You know, I just don't have the clout. I just don't have the numbers. You know what I mean? And I, and I just thought that was so profound and beautiful to know that this individual has so much value in themselves that they see where they are and they appreciate where they are. You know, and this, this, is, this is, today it's about appreciating where you are. Or right, talk about yourself, man, and talk about the people that you know, that other people don't know, that are close to you, and promote them. <laughs> promote the homies, promote the family members, promote the people you care about and love the most, not these strangers. Like, you can be inspired, but promote the people closest to home, man. This is a hat from M-O-A-M, Marcus Brown, man, coming out, dropping his line this month. Doing a whole rebranding like he's doing his thing. The individual hoops. He inspires. <laughs> and he dreams at, in, I mean, big, 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 big spurts. 
And it's like, it just inspires me to see a young kid like that move forward. You know what I mean? My little brother has a phenomenal gaming channel that he's growing right now. Almost at 2,000 2, supporters. You know, they love his video game content. They love his dialogue. They love the way he plays. My brother's a beast. I got a friend, Kenneth Stevenson. Kenneth Stevenson. Rathercozy.designs.com uploading daily making outfits and clothing and paintings on the daily has a gallery show in los angeles in september beast mode just killing the game it's dago's finest my boy alpha who we shot a video for created some of the most authentic creative soulful sounds that i've seen to date <laughs> just straight beautiful Homie Nina Marlene, who's out in Buffalo, New York, modeling, just got a billboard the other the other what month? I think it was in December for moving from Houston all the way to New York, man. Come on, my boy. <laughs> Can I keep going? Can I keep going? My boy Ricky. Ricky would take your platform and your Instagram account, YouTube, and literally rebrand you. Literally show you what you need to do to get to this next level and grow. My boy Zach Fitness, almost at 365 backflips this year. At the age of what, I think he's 33 now. He always told himself he'll never do a backflip. Now this cat is doing backflips. <laughs> Literally daily. Day I'm gonna put all these links in the description. The homie Didi, Didi talked about she wanted to get into her first poetry session she was writing poetry but she never stood on stage now she's been on stage and is getting paid to do poetry can i keep going why don't we big up the people that we know the list goes on if i missed you this was just a representation and just an example just an example of how so many people nearest to you are doing some phenomenal things and so appreciate what they're doing market them promote them do a project with them you don't need to do a project with somebody famous and, and think that's your best work that may not be your best work matter of fact that may be less than par because one your creative control most likely did not go to you with less clout <laughs> your creative control was most likely taken to a certain extent Create with the people around you. This is going to be your most creative work. But appreciate where you are right now. Stop comparing yourself to where you want to go and where you think you need to be at. If you don't believe you're there right now, then you're not operating at your best and your highest potential. You're there right now. Be hard on yourself and discipline yourself. Have fun with the process. But appreciate where you are right now, man. Where I am right now is beautiful. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not where I think I should be or where I want to be at. I suffer with a lot of different things that you suffer with too. Certain vices, I suffer with them, I battle with them, I fall victim to them. But I'm still a phenomenal soul, I'm still a phenomenal individual, I'm still a fighter and I fight just like you. I fight just like everybody else who's going through this everyday life experience, all trying to, trying to do something phenomenal, you know what I mean? But I appreciate and I'm understanding more, God spoke to my spirit this morning, appreciate where you are right now. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, my leader. Appreciate, I'm talking to you right now. Appreciate where you are right now now at this moment today appreciate it and i'm a firm believer that your life will be changed my leaders we got many videos and content coming out this week and next week finishing a lot of client videos as well but i got so much new york footage so much new york footage now it's time to edit that footage <laughs> yeah i got so much pieces of content so just be on the lookout but let's get into prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you in Jesus' mighty name for guiding this leader here today. Father, I thank you for also giving me the impulse to just create without inhibition. Lord, allow me to create content and messages that connect with the people you've called me to connect with. Father, I don't know where my leader is listening to this video across the globe, but I do 
ask that you allow my leader to appreciate where they are today. Not tomorrow, not next week when they get that thing, not the, the, the next three weeks, but appreciate where they are in life today. Somebody's going through way worse and somebody's going through a better experience. But it does not negate that this person is watching this video today. And if they're watching this video today, that means they're alive. So, Father, allow my leader watching this video simply to appreciate this process, appreciate where they are right now, and just have patience, have patience, and endear the process, Father. And if my leader can understand this concept today, I'm a firm believer that their life will be changed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. My leaders, appreciate where you are right now. I'm going to see you in the next video. We are...